Hello, and welcome to Orchestra's how-to series. Today, we're going to be discussing down payments in SAP Business One 2007, specifically those down payments related to the AP process. So let's dig right in. And we go to AP, and we have two options for our AP down payment invoices, either directly from the purchase order or as a standalone AP down payment invoice. So let's do one from the purchase order first. Let's just choose our vendor, select a couple of items, and say, okay, looks good. I want to take a down payment. And just click on the money bags, and we're going to do a wire transfer. We're going to do that wire transfer today. Give it a quick reference code, and input our total amount that we're going to prepay. In this case, $500. Um, one thing to note, if you're doing a partial payment, you're not paying the full balance, this must be zero. Uh, this is your discount percent based upon your payment terms for early payment, and if it is automatically triggered by an early payment, uh, you need to make sure this is zero for partials. Full payments, no problem, it works perfectly. So we say add, and let's go back to our purchase order. Here we can see that this is linked to down payment number five. And if we copy this to an AP invoice, it's automatically going to pull down payment number five onto this invoice. So we have a $500 credit, or not really a credit, it's a prepayment, and an amount due of 945.41 because we have the $200 in freight. We say add, and we're good to go. All right, the other method we have is as a standalone AP down payment invoice. And this works just like a standard invoice, except there's no inventory transactions. And the payment goes, of course, to an asset. So let's choose a few items. And here we have the option, we can say down payment percentage, or we can put a dollar amount. So if we put $500, it's going to calculate automatically. Or in this case, I'd like to do a $60 prepayment and I can either hit the money bags and accept the cash, or in this case, send the cash immediately, or just say add, and this goes in just like an invoice for payable. So we go to our banking, um, because the invoice or the prepayment invoice will not be available to be uh, added to an invoice as a credit until it has been paid. So we choose our vendor, we choose our down payment, there it is, and we say, money bags, do another wire transfer for the funds for the down payment, do the total amount, okay, add, add. Okay, so now that down payment is closed, it is now available to be pulled in to an actual AP invoice. So next, we'll just create a standalone AP invoice. We're going to choose a set of items, it does not need to be the same items that were selected on the down payment. Uh, because we're going to pull from our available down payment pool. This is every down payment for this vendor. See, we have some uh, down payments that have not been invoiced yet, and these are based on uh, a purchase order. I should say the purchase order has not been invoiced, but the down payment has been paid. Um, these are available to be selected, but in this case, we're not going to select them. So we're just going to pull the one which we know is appropriate for, uh, for this order. And then we see 748.70, that's the balance, plus the $200 in freight, which was not included in the down payment. Uh, down payment documents do not include dollar figures below the line, so freight and tax uh, would not be included. So we just say add, cannot change it, perfect, everything's good. And now we can go back and see that this invoice did indeed uh, work perfectly. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to give us a call, 559-477-4256, or visit us on the web at www.orchestrateam.com. All right, thank you, and have a good day.